Bound by an oath made by the family's great ancestor, the entire legacy of the Katsahana family fortune has been sealed for 600 years. It awaits the day when a single direct descendant who sustains the family name will inherit all. Now, less than a year remains until this 600-year-old decree is executed. However, the number of the Katsahana descendants has grown far and wide, reaching into the hundreds. With only one possible heir to the entire Katsahana legacy, the members of the family begin to hunt down and murder one another. Thus begins the Katsahana family mass battle, and this is one of its tears. Whatever you say at this point won't change a thing. As long as your profile remains in this device, there is no escape from this battle. Of course, it's a shame that your little girlfriend has to be involved in all this as well. She has nothing to do with this! Please, just let her walk away. If you let her go, I'll do whatever no, you... that's not how it works. If you end up dying here today, I'll take the liberty of doing with her as I please. Perhaps turn her into my own little slave. I'm sure I can find some kind of use for all that youth and energy she seems to embody. Yoshi! Don't listen to me, Mika. Everything is gonna be alright. Once I grow tired of her, I'll sever her ankles and cut out her tongue before I sell her for a reasonable price to an acquaintance of mine. You see... He likes to play with dogs. <laughs> you monster! Stay away from us! A monster? Am I? I suppose, in this case, that would make you the hero of the occasion. That's exactly what I need you to be. I want you to fight for everything you hold dear to you. It wouldn't be as entertaining if you didn't give me your very best. I don't care about some pathetic legacy! Why can't you just leave us alone? All this bloodshed! For what? For some stupid family fortune? Can't you just see the truth? This is all just a ploy by the main family to wipe out the subordinate bloodlines! The fortune... It's just deception to make they us- kill each other! Of course it is. And it seems to be working quite well, wouldn't you say? What? How can you just accept such a thing? You may think you're different, but don't forget that we all share the same blood, Yagi. Haven't you already killed off a few members yourself? That was different! I had no choice! Just like it is now. You pretend to be so naive, but I see you measuring me up in your gaze. Looking for a weak spot. Waiting for the right moment to strike. And when you find that chance, there will be no hesitation. No guilt. Just a lingering sense of pleasure. Or should I say, ecstasy. You don't know anything! But you do. You're already aware of it. It's written in our genes, Yagi. What are you saying? That we're killing each other because we're made that way? That is one way to look at it. Some of the elders call it a curse, but we all know better than to define all this for superstition. How do you think this so-called battle is so well organized and well funded? Why is all our information stored and shared in these data pads that we carry? Don't you think it'd be a little odd that all these incidents are watched and recorded? Even if a vast fortune does exist, I'm sure you agree that all this is a little too much for a mere inheritance battle. Make it sound as if it was some kind of twisted experiment! That was my initial hunch. But as it turns out, the experiments were over decades ago. What? You look confused. Frustrated even. You want answers. Good. All the more reason for you to survive this moment. And if you do manage to live beyond this night, then at least you'll have something to think about. 
something to pass. Ah! Yagi! That's it. Show me your true self, Katahana. took away most of the pain. I told you I wanted it to be painful. He suffered enough. What are you doing now? Taking a tissue sample while it's still warm. <laughs> Is that what you do with all of your victims? You went through a lot of trouble to lure him out here. He sincerely cared for you. I'm impressed with the show you put on. But what makes a person go through such a charade? He killed the person I loved. If it was intentional or not, I lost everything because of him. He got what he deserved. And I thank you for helping me. Running into you was just a convenient coincidence. It's not every day where a target gets served to me on a silver platter. You all carry around that same device. So this battle you were talking about? All that stuff about family bloodlines and a fortune? Everything you said before? Is it all true? Yes. <gasps> Every single word. Isn't it a bit unsettling to see that girl being taken away like that? Perhaps we should intervene. Once an outsider learns about the battle, they're as good as dead. Her fate is sealed no matter what happens. I thought you'd show a little more compassion to you, seeing that you have a daughter and all. Compassion has no place in a judge's duty. <laughs> Being a judge can be so boring. I'm still a little concerned with that Hussein. As shallow and premature as they are, he's raising questions that may eventually compromise the battle. That's why I'm keeping a close eye on him. I see. If I didn't know better, I would think it was because he were growing a fondness for his character. Although I see nothing that you two share in common. Goodbye, Karashi. <laughs>